The 1896 Sanriku earthquake was one of the most destructive seismic events in Japanese history. The 8.5 magnitude earthquake occurred at 1932 local time on June 15, 1896, approximately 166 kilometers (103 miles) off the coast of Iwate Prefecture, Honshu. It resulted in two tsunamis which destroyed about 9,000 homes and caused at least 22,000 deaths. The waves reached a then record height of 38.2 meters, 125 feet. This would remain the highest on record until waves from the 2011 Tohoku earthquake exceeded that height by more than 2 meters, 6 feet 7 in. Seismologists have discovered the tsunami's magnitude MT equals 8.2 was much greater than expected for the estimated seismic magnitude. This earthquake is now regarded as being part of a distinct class of seismic events, the tsunami earthquake. Geology the epicenter lies just to the west of the Japan Trench, the surface expression of the west dipping subduction zone. The trench forms part of the convergent boundary between the Pacific and Eurasian plates. Magnitude <laughs> 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 The unusual disparity between the magnitude of the earthquake and the subsequent tsunami may be due to a combination of forces. The tsunami was caused by a slope failure triggered by the earthquake. The rupture velocity was unusually low. Scientists believe the effect of subducted sediment beneath the accretionary wedge was responsible for a slow rupture velocity. The effects of a 20 degrees dipping fault along the top of the subducting plate was found to match both the observed seismic response and tsunami, but required a displacement of 10.4 meters. The displacement was reduced to a more reasonable value after the extra uplift caused by the deformation of sediments in the wedge and a shallower fault dip of 10 degrees was considered. This revised fault model gave a magnitude of MW equals 8.0 to 8.1. A figure much closer to the estimated actual tsunami magnitude. A magnitude of 8.5 on the moment magnitude scale has also been estimated for this event. Tsunami <inaudible> 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 On the evening of June 15, 1896, communities along the Sanriku coast in northern Japan were celebrating a Shinto holiday and the return of soldiers from the First Sino-Japanese War. After a small earthquake, there was little concern because it was so weak and many small tremors had also been felt in the previous few months. However 35 minutes later the first tsunami wave struck the coast, followed by a second a few minutes later. Damage was particularly severe because the tsunamis coincided with high tides. Most deaths occurred in Iwate and Miyagi although casualties were also recorded from Aomori and Hokkaido. The power of the tsunami was great, large numbers of victims were found with broken bodies or missing limbs. As was their normal practice each evening, the local fishing fleets were all at sea when the tsunamis struck. In the deep water the wave went unnoticed. Only when they returned the next morning did they discover the debris and bodies. Wave heights of up to 9 meters, 30 feet were also measured in Hawaii. They destroyed wharves and swept several houses away. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legacy Preventive coastal measures were not implemented until after another tsunami struck in 1933. Due to higher levels of tsunami awareness, fewer casualties were recorded following the Sanriku earthquake. Nevertheless, the earthquake of of March 2011 caused a huge tsunami that resulted in thousands of deaths across the same region and the nuclear disaster at Fukushima. See also 
869 Sanriku earthquake 1933 Sanriku earthquake 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami List of earthquakes in Japan List of historical earthquakes Seismicity of the Sanriku coast <laughs>